In this video, we will show you how to design a full anatomy zirconia bridge on implants with gums. Start with creating a new order. Mark the teeth you are going to work on and select a screw retained crown. Select zirconia as a material of choice if it is not default. Remember to choose the right type of implant system and kit. While scanning, always use a corresponding scan flag which must be screwed to the model. Then choose the teeth for pontics and choose anatomy pontic from the indications list. Also remember to select zirconia as material. Now mark all teeth and select bridge. Choose none as the connector type. Once all teeth have been bridged, the abutments screw retained crowns will be grouped automatically for one insertion direction. The last step of order creation is to add gingiva. Once your model has been scanned, place the annotations, keeping in mind that they should always be placed on the buckle side of the gum near the margin. If an annotation has been placed during scanning, you can always move it. Just click and drag or select Ignore Scanning Annotation and place it again. Then click Next to move to the Insertion Direction step. In the Implant Bridge Restoration type, screw retained crowns are grouped and have one insertion line for the restoration. An optimal direction will be calculated by the software, but you can modify it at this step. If it is moved too far for abutments, the software will notify you with a red vector and a callout. Once the insertion direction has been set, click Next. In the Anatomy Pre-Design step, the software will generate an initial suggestion for teeth placement. The Smile Composer's Smile Library allows you to change teeth anatomy and the Sculpt tool gives you the possibility to change the placement in relation to jaw anatomy, of the teeth in the arch, and antagonists if available. Having the teeth positioned, click Next to move to the abutment step. At this design stage, you can shape the emergence profiles of each bridge abutment. It is easily done on the translucent models due to the visible contour lines. Start with positioning the control points of the emergence profile at the required level in relation to the gum edge, usually about one millimeter below the gingiva level. When activated, the points show the grid mesh, which helps you to measure distances. When you have it at the required level and your emergence profile has been formed by a healing cap, click the Snap Gingiva button. This will fit the emergence profile completely. However, if you do not have a nicely shaped emergence profile, use the Snap to Anatomy button to automatically snap the profile to the earlier designed crown. Clicking Preview will allow you to see the crown's connection to the emergence profile. After finishing the emergence profile design, click Next to go to the Anatomy Design step. Now, you have the teeth anatomy back and you can work on them adjusting the shape, contact points and occlusion. For this, you can use the available tools in the Sculpt Toolkit. When done, click Next to get to the Gingiva Design step. Select Draw Artificial Gingiva Outline and then use the Pencil icon to draw the Gingiva Outline. That can be modified if needed. When the gingiva is outlined, click on the Draw Implant Openings in Artificial Gingiva button. Optionally, you can draw relief zones using the Draw Relief Zone button, if necessary. All settings related to Gingiva can be set in the Material Settings drop-down menu. 
Once all outlines are created, click Next to move to the Sculpt step, where you can use the Sculpt tools to shape the gingiva. When ready, go to the next step, which is Finalize. At the Finalize step, the teeth and gingiva are combined. It gives you the chance to make adjustments to the whole design at the same time. Use the Sculpt Toolkit tools to do that. Once the modification of your design is finished, go to the Assembly step by clicking Next, where the bridge and abutments will be combined and screw holes will be created. Angulation of screw holes is possible at that step. You can also modify the assembly settings here. When ready, click Next and go to the Save step and then close. Thank you for watching.